Your Apple ID is the account you use to access Apple services like the App Store and iCloud. You can also use your Apple ID to set up family sharing. First, open Settings to go to your account. By attaching a payment method to your Apple ID, you can purchase apps and music to your iPad. You can do this via the App Store. When you download something new to your iPad, such as music or apps, it is then associated with your Apple ID. This information is stored on iCloud. Unlike traditional desktop computers, you can access iCloud from any Apple device using your Apple ID. You can also access your Apple ID account from any computer by going to iCloud.com and entering your Apple ID if your device is not working. iCloud also saves information that you might not wish to share, like your emails and accounts. Users get 5 gigabytes of data for free and can purchase additional storage if they need. You can also use your iCloud account to set up family sharing. From the Apple ID menu, select Set up family sharing. Setting up family sharing will allow family members to share photos as well as purchases such as music and apps. It also allows you to monitor and approve the purchases that other family members make. If your child doesn't have their own iCloud account, you can set one up here. After you have entered your child's details, you'll be asked to create a passcode and answer memorable questions. It is important that you and your child remember the answers to these. You can now enable location sharing and ask to buy, which means your child can't purchase anything without your consent. We recommend that you turn on your iCloud backup. You can do this in settings. Tap your iCloud, then iCloud backup. This will automatically save data and settings when your iPad is plugged into a power source and connected to the internet. For more information on other ways you can use family sharing, see our video, Screen Time.